explain junk dimension in SSAs, which is one of uh, the important interior questions. Uh, let's see. Uh, I've created a table here, a fact table, um, just to explain the junk dimension. So basically, the junk dimension definition is like uh, the one which has all the junk information, the dimension which will have um, not of high priority uh, attribute information, but it will have all the junks that um, that will be part of a dimension. Basically, this is called uh, this is a miscellaneous data in which you will have all the indicators or SR no kind of information in the dimension. Let's see an example how the junk dimension will be generated or created uh, in SSAs. First thing, let me explain the fact table that I have created here just to demonstrate uh, an example. So this is a fact table which contains the data of the cricket, cricket match. Let me quickly explain what are all the different fields I have taken here and what uh, is meant by every field here. So the first one is ball ID. What is the ball number? There will be a uh, unique ID. This is the kind of primary key or surrogate key for this fact table, uh, which will be having a unique value. And the second thing is in which match this sport club ball is played. I have given ID here. This will be joined with the match table to get the match name. There will be a match table, which is a dimension table, uh, which, which it will be joined to get the match name. Let's say the match is India versus Pakistan. And the date ID, as you all know, this is on which date the particular match is happened. And bowler ID, who was the bowler when this particular ball was bowled? And who was the bowler when this particular ball was bowled? And so on. And this is the over ID, what is the over number? And this is the innings ID, whether it's the first innings or second innings of the match. And who was the striker at that time? This table, this column will be joined with players table to get the player ID. Who is the striker at that particular moment for the particular ball? And when he was the striker, who was the non-striker, this will be again joined with the player dimension to get the non-striker non -striker name. And short ID, what kind of shot this particular user, or particular batsman has played, like whether it's a defensive shot, this will be joined with the short types to get the short name, whether it's a defensive or aggressive or square cut, blah, blah, blah. If you're good in cricket, you can easily understand. If you're not, I'm extremely sorry for taking this example. And run scored, how many runs he has scored? And whether it is a 4 or not, yes, no, yes, no, because this is a 4, so it is yes, this is 4 again, this is yes, and um, no, because this is 6, 6 is yes here for this one, so like that, is it 4, is it 6, or is it wicket? And fielder ID, who was the fielder for that particular ball, and where the match was played in which ground, this is the ground ID, which will be joined with the ground table, ground table or ground dimension to get the ground names. So this is about um, the fact table, a sample fact table that I've created to demonstrate this particular example. Now, what is uh, junk dimension? If you see here, these particular three fields are mostly having the indicator types, whether it's S or no, S or no, S or no. You can bring these three fields aside and you can make a dimension and that dimension will form a junk dimension because it has all the junk information. This is not actually related to the business. This is kind of indicators, yes, no, yes, no, kind of. Let's say you have a 100 billion records in your fact table. Instead of repeating these particular combinations, yes, no, yes, no indicators, and if you want to maintain a dimension for that, you can pull aside and you can, uh, you can make a dimension called junk dimension. Let's say I copied the same information here. I'll make it, uh, I'll add one more column to my dimension table that is junk ID, which will have one, two, three, four, the primary key ID or the or the column which is used to uh, uniquely identify the each and every record in the particular table. Now, let's, let's come with the different combinations that you can form with these three stuff. Yes, no, no can be one combination. No, no, no can be one combination because all the three may be no's. And third thing is no, yes, no will be one combination. Fourth, thing, fourth one is no, no, and yes will be one combination. So you will get these four combinations as far as I know if, I mean, um, chances because, one second, let me delete it. Okay, because it can be either four or six or wicket or nothing. 
I don't think it will be 4 and wicket and 6 and wicket. I don't think it, it's possible or 4 and 6. So these are the four different combinations you can get when you pull these three particular columns, indicator columns aside uh, from your fact table. Now, once you have done this stuff, this is your junk dimension. You can create a dimension with this. The junk dimension is ready. You have three attributes, whether one with is 4, second one is is 6, third one is is wicket, and uh, you can drag and drop it. Uh, is wicket attribute so it will try to join and get when it has only the wicket information uh, I'm uh, like if you pull is wicket is s then you'll get only is wicket is s now how you can join this stuff with your fact table you will have an extra column here let's say I'm including the column here here you'll have the junk ID so this junk ID will have the ID based on this particular combination. So if you see, yes, no, no. This is the uh, this is for the first record. So where is the test? No, no. So the ID will be one here. And here in this case, uh, it's no, no, no. So the ID is two. It is yes, no, no. Again, it is one. And no, 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 two. No, yes, no. That is three. And uh, no, no, no. This is two. Two, 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 two. So this is how you can make uh, a reference to the uh, to your fact table, and you can pull uh, out all this stuff, and you can make a dimension which we call it as junk dimension. So once this is done, then you don't need of these three columns anymore. Uh, these three columns will not be available in your fact table. So this junk dimension will come into picture when you don't want to maintain these kind of attribute information or textual information in your fact table. This is one purpose and if you want to query based on this information, like uh, if you want to use this as a, as a slicer access in your MDX. And um, third thing is you can maintain one separate dimension for this and one separate dimension for this and one separate dimension for this and you can have key columns and you can use um, um, referential integrity, I mean joins to get the information. I mean you can create three different dimensions for uh, one for each in this case, but that will not make any sense because it's not a um, the the it's not the kind of data which will be interested uh, uh, very frequently. So what people will do is they will try to uh, group all this junk related junk information or garbage data, and they'll make a separate dimension as I explained uh, before just just now, a couple of minutes back. So we call it as junk dimension, or people also call it as garbage dimension. So this is about uh, in short, the garbage or junk dimension will have all the miscellaneous data like. Um, um, indicators or SRNO kind of information which will be pulled in and uh, all the combination with all the combinations and will create a dimension which is called as junk dimension. Hope you understood the concept of the junk dimension and you can use this one as example when the interviewer asks you to explain with an example and uh, stay tuned for more videos on SSIS, SSAS and SSRS interview questions. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.